topic that we are going to discuss it is the chemical equilibrium constant and its units so let's start that what does mean by the chemical equilibrium and its units first of all you must know that what does mean by the equilibrium constant basically the equilibrium constant it is going to tell us the concentration of the different species and uh, these different species are from the reaction species of the reaction and they may be both reactants or the products so basically the chemical equilibrium is going to or equilibrium constant is going to tell us about the concentration of the reactants and the products in a chemical reaction on both sides in the forward side and in the reverse side so the chemical equilibrium it is denoted by kc where c stands for the constant and by simple calculations we can get the information easily about the constant use of the chemical reaction with the passage of time at the equilibrium state so equilibrium constant tells us about the concentration basically the formula that is going to denote the kc we have it is mainly the product of concentration of products and these products each raised to power raised to power of its coefficient so in the numerator we take the product of the products and in the denominator we take the product of concentration of reactants and each raised power to the coefficient likewise the numerator so basically it is the ratio of the molar concentration of the products to the molar concentration of the reactants next we have the unit for the equilibrium in which unit we can denote the equilibrium basically many of the chemical reactions have their units because we take molar concentrations we take molar concentrations in the chemical equilibrium and these concentrations are taken in mole per dm cube mole per dm cube and these are known as molar concentrations and these are also known as the active masses so we can derive the unit of a any chemical reaction by putting up the value mole per dm cube let's have example number 1 here we have the water molecule is going to react with the carbon dioxide so we can write the reaction over there as the water is going to react with the carbon dioxide and the product we are going to gain it is the carbonic acid h2co3 where it is the carbonic acid so to find the unit for the chemical equilibrium you must know the value of kc so first of all we will write its kc we will take as the products concentration to the concentration of the reactants so let's have kc for the example number 1 we have its kc is equal to products we have carbonic acid as h2co3 and in the reactants we have water and carbon dioxide so concentration of water and we have concentration of carbon dioxide oxide now by putting up its unit that mole per dm cube then we get as kc is equal to mole per dm cube over there mole per dm cube for the carbonic acid then for the reactants we have mole per dm cube for the water and then we have mole per dm cube for the carbon dioxide mole per dm cube now by solving this mole per dm cube and mole per dm cube is going to cut down then the value of kc or unit we just gain 1 by mole per dm cube so the value of kc for this reaction that we gain it is kc is equal to 
by moving this to upside we will get per mole dm cube for the reaction so this was a simple unit for this reaction next we have the example number two that is hydrogen and iodine are going to react with the hydrogen iodide first of all we must write its kc so the kc is the ratio of the molar concentration of the products and the molar concentration of the reactants so this is the reactant and these are the products so reactants and products okay see we have in the product sites we have hydrogen iodide and we have two moles so this will be its coefficient and it will be it will be raised to power next we have the reactants hydrogen and iodine h2 and then we have iodine i2 so next by putting up the value of mole per dm cube we will get mole per dm cube its square then we have mole per dm cube and then we have mole per dm cube for the iodine so we have mole per dm cube square on the numerator and two mole per dm cube values on the denominator so by rearranging or by solving we will get kc here kc has no unit so in some of the reactions the value of kc or the kc has unit but when the number of moles of reactants is equal to number of moles of products then kc has no unit and when there is a change in the number of moles on the reactant side and the, the product side then the kc must have a unit so this was a simple that how we can find the unit for the given reaction or the unit of the kc i hope you guys understand to find the kc unit and if you have any queries you can ask me about that in the comment section for that time have a good day and allah peace